All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Monday, June 3rd, set today by Vulcan. I think Vulcan set the Monday two weeks ago, and it wasn't as tough as he usually is, so that's a hopeful sign. But let's see what he has in store for us. Remind actor to be punctual. Oh, well, I think that's a an easy one to start with. If you just let your mind free associate what it might be to remind an actor of their line, for example, and uh, to be punctual, uh, prompt. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, when I was in school, we were doing King Lear, and we went on an excursion to Dunleary to, can't remember what the theatre was, to see a production of King Lear, and it was not very good. And the actor playing Lear at the end when he wakes up from his uh, madness obviously forgot his line and he decides to ad lib, where am I? And of course, some wit from the audience shouts, Dunleary. And we fell about the place anyway. Uh, let's try one down. Inhaling one, smoker becomes more bloated. I don't know what this is, but I'm thinking it's going to be a word for smoker that will end in ER, but we're going to put an I inside it, inhaling one, and it's going to become an IER ending. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's just uh, we put the I in earlier, but I'm thinking what's well, more bloated, uh, puffier? Oh. Ah, yes, a smoker would be a puffer. There we go. All right, yes, I think Vulcan is being soft. Um, let's see, switch positions without consistency. Oh, I think this is clever. Um, I read switch as a verb, but I think it's positions on a switch. And then it also means without consistency, on and off. Very good. Uh, one is responsible for gripping pages. Uh, this feels like a cryptic definition. I don't know if it's going to be the part of a book that holds the pages together, or maybe it's a type of writer who writes ex exciting gripping pages. Uh, not seeing it. Uh, let's go back to the, the crosses. Tasteless. Dip is in preparation. Oh, okay. Well, I can think of a word for tasteless in the sense of not having much taste. And it's an anagram of dip is in. Uh, insipid. All right. Mark that shows one has passed. Well, I'm thinking it's something to show you're dead, unfortunately. Uh, one has passed, so not uh, an exam, which I think is what Vulcan wants us to think. But it's not a tombstone. What, um, what other kind of mark that shows one has passed. No, I'm not getting that. Appropriate or appropriate evidence from ballot paper. One has voted for princess. Could it be the name of a princess? Diana is the obvious, but appropriate Evidence from ballot paper, one has voted for, oh, I think, yeah, I think it's probably appropriate or appropriate is the definition. And then there's a punning definition, evidence from ballot paper, one has voted for princess. It might be, might be something like uh, die. Time 
X for a vote or oh, a punching um, oh, a Chad, of course, maybe. Um, evidence from, no, I'm not seeing it. Uh, conclude, wearing mink will be picked up. Well, I think picked up is telling us there's uh, an, a homophone at play here. So if you're wearing mink, you're in fur, but that sounds like the verb infer to conclude something from the evidence. All right, uh, actually, let's go to the uh, downs since we have these. Uh, provisional team I am to join. I wonder if it's an enneagram of team I am. And does provisional indicate we're to anagram those letters and it's going to mean to join, which of course could be to join an organization or it could be to join things together. We have two M's in team I am, so and then left over with two A's. Mm, not sure about that. Uh, we'll come back to that. Auction includes hard, rock. Well, hard is usually abbreviated to H, so a word for an auction, you put an H inside it, so sale becomes shale. Ooh, I have many gods. Well, I'm thinking of, it's going to be a poly, polytheist, poly something. Uh, a nature one above all. I have many gods. But the, oh, oh uh, I think Pan is a nature god. And so it may be pan, pantheist. No, I didn't think it fit at first, but. Yeah, the only thing is we have a nature god giving us pan, but there's nothing to, to give us the rest. Hmm. I'll leave it in for now, but uh, may need to revisit that. All right, daughter at Cathedral City, losing some energy. Nothing sinister about this. All right. I think a Cathedral City that often comes up is Eli. Or is it pronounced Ely? E L Y? Ely, I think, yeah. Um, however, I think whatever the cathedral, I think the D is the daughter. And then the cathedral city might be six letters and we lose an E from it. And then what would be a, a word meaning nothing sinister about this? Uh, no, not getting it. Uh, let's try eight down. Hit gym for exercise to get strong. Okay, well, I think exercise here is an anagram indicator. We exercise the letters of hit gym and we would get mighty, meaning strong. Uh, we'll do this one of what to do for new baby anything uh some punning going on i think in this one as well what to do for new baby any no not saying it let's go back we do have some nice letters for appropriate or appropriate evidence from ballot paper Oh, 
Yes, it is appropriate. Um, so if, for example, one country sees some land from another, then it would be annexing it. And the princess is Anne. Don't hear too much about her these days. Um, and so it's an annex, which show you voted for her. Ah, so nothing sinister. I'm now thinking of the Latin for left and right. And wondering if it could be, oh, um, yeah, I think the cathedral city is Exeter, but it loses one of its E's and we get Dexter. All right, bit of luck, perhaps, after finding this on the hoof. Oh, uh, a horseshoe, of course, is something you would find on a hoof, and people hang them up for luck. And you always have to hang them with the ends pointing up, right, so the luck doesn't run out. Such a wealthy family, unlikely to be Republicans. I'm wondering just from the R and the Y if it could be royalty, who are a wealthy family, the royal family in Britain, and they are unlikely to be Republicans, but it feels like we're missing something. <laughs> well, I should say I'm missing something. Um, hmm. It would mean 14 down would begin with a Y, what to do for a new baby? Oh, something like uh, you, you, ah, what you do with a new baby is you name it. And if somebody says, oh, anything, you name it and it'll be there. So I think it is uh, royalty. Uh, what does that do for the gripping pages? Paper, paper glue, is that a thing? Paper, oh, a paper clip, of course. <laughs> so it's very literal. All right, so now the mark that shows one has passed. Oh my goodness, what could that be? Oh, a footprint would show you have passed by. Ah. I wonder if that's a theme today. It's just very literal uh, punning definitions. But uh, anyway. Oh, um, provisional would be interim, I think. So let's see. It's not an anagram of... team I am to join, but um, how does it work? We do have two I am's, which is I am. Team. So where's the team coming in? I, d I don't see that at all. Maybe it's wrong. I'm sure there's other words that would fit this, but provisional. Oh, interim. Why? My goodness, why did I write interim? Interim. So in... Inter... Inter... Oh, Inter Milan, of course. <laughs> that is the team. Good luck to anyone who doesn't follow European football. Inter, and then I am. My goodness, all right. I don't know why I put an M in there. Anyway, let's move on. Page, I'm to edit a flyer in black and white. All right, so a, an anagram of page, I'm. And it's a magpie. After massage on back, 
go for physical exercise. Well, massage could be rub. Rub for physical exercise. I can't think of any word that would be R-U-B-P. No. What else would... So I think it might be a physical exercise. I think a, it's going to be a rub. Ooh. No, it's so... The massage, I think, goes back. So instead of being rub, I think it's burr. And if you go in the toilet, you pee. And a burpee is some kind of exercise. Uh, I have a vague memory of that. Let me look that up. All right, a burpee is a squat thrust with an additional stand between repetitions. There we go. Uh, let's try content indicator. Has husband horribly aghast? So I'm thinking horribly is telling us to anagram aghast, which has six letters plus the H for husband. And I think it's going to begin with an H, and then it's going to be... Ah, yes, so how you might mark a tweet, for example, to say what's in it with a hashtag. It's nice to see some more modern words showing up in the crossword. Ooh, let's try some of these downs. Uh, grand, which might be that G. Eastern terminus in development. Uh, well, I'm thinking in development might be gestation. Oh yeah, E is uh, east, uh, Eastern and a terminus would be a railway station. Gestation for development, all right. Uh, struggling, hence an upgrade needed. Could that be an anagram of hence an, which needs an upgrade or a rearrangement? And would mean struggling. Or, oh, actually, struggling might be an anagram indicator. And then upgrade needed. I'm not seeing an anagram of Henson. Hound is down regularly in this bay. So regularly sometimes means we take every other letter from a string of words. And starting with the H, luckily we have that, H-U-D-S-O-N, to give us a bay. Uh, rather like Marx, to be bad-tempered. Oh, well, I think this is going to be grouchy. So I think it's punning that if you're like Groucho, you're grouchy. Um... Yeah, I think that must be the answer. Let's go back to the acrosses. Uh, brazen say, you steal an outhouse. Oh. Brazen say. So is that say as, as, as a homophone indicator or as an example? I think brazen... I mean, the obvious meaning is somebody who is, uh, you know, daring or um, outspoken, they're brazen. But I think there's another meaning of to brazen something. But then you steal an outhouse. No, I'm not seeing it. Uh, somewhat inappropriate to buy on this. I think this might be a hidden clue. It's some part of the word inappropriate. 
I think it might be on a APRO standing for approval. I'm not a hundred percent sure of that. I do remember as a boy getting into stamp collecting and and they had this thing where they would send you stamps on approval. <laughs> it's bizarre to think about it now. And if you wanted them, you would send them money. And if you didn't, you'd send them back. Oh, well, I suppose there are uh, companies that do that nowadays. Anyway, uh, gray with worry. That's serious. The gray can be a horse with worry. That's serious. No, I'm not seeing that. From an earlier age. All right, one has moved into Chile. I'm thinking it's going to be something like Jurassic or um, some adjective to do with one of the geological ages. And it'll be one in Chile. Oh, maybe an anagram of into Chile. One has moved into Chile. Let's uh, use the anagram helper for the first time today. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Um, very lucky to get so close to it on the first go. But yes, of course, the Neolithic. All right. Um, almost finished with the acrosses. One out of work on Scottish Island. Ooh. Not sure if it is going to be a Scottish Island. Um, I do know in the past I've had to look at lists of Scottish islands to find the right one. Is it simply a double definition? No. Apologies, by the way, my neighbor has started their motorcycle, so you may hear that revving in the background. All right, a particular method to make such a mirror Oh, so I think it's, um, don't they call it a one-way mirror? I think I've sometimes said two-way in the past uh, incorrectly, but I think it's a one-way that they have in interrogation rooms, for example. So one, I think, would be a particular, and way is a method. Ooh, it gives very unusual, ah, yes, but of course a contemptuous expression so putting pressure, which is P, on a playwright, George Bernard Shaw, to give Shaw. Now that's a very old-fashioned word. I don't know if anyone says Shaw these days. All right, how about Townsman drops hot snack? Uh, so maybe it's a word for a Townsman that has an H and we drop the H and we get a snack. But what is a townsman? Uh, no, uh, looking for roof beam to be shortened at one end. Uh, here I'm thinking it's going to be, uh, the definition is looking and we take a roof beam but we drop either the first or the last letter. Uh, what would a roof beam be? No, in six letters. No, I'm not seeing it. All right, let's see if... Uh, oh, I didn't notice I'd finished actually three quarters. So this is uh, quite straightforward today, thanks to Vulcan. All right, what one? Uh, let's try. Oh, yes, this one I think was going to be an anagram of hence an. Let's see if we're lucky again with the 
Adgram's helper. And it's either going to mean an upgrade needed or struggling. Oh, enhance. Yeah, of course. That's the... Um, not sure about the, an F, uh, the definition. Um, upgrade, I think, is the definition. Uh, so needed, I think, is obviously put in for the surface reading. Maybe they're saying, if you anagram or struggle with hence and, or the word upgrade needs you to struggle with. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how that's being justified. All right, so we now have, I'm going to say, ah, I thought of the word unabashed, which I think would mean brazen. And maybe it's a homophone for you steal no, I don't think it's a homophone, because I think it's just, y oh, it is, sorry, it is a homophone of you, which gives us this one. Steel is nab, and an outhouse is a shed. There we go. Now our townsman drops hot snack. I hate when the definition is something like snack, because there's so many that this could be. Oh, maybe supper, but how would that be a townsman with an H? Shopper? I don't think so. Um, no, not seeing it. Or looking for. Ah, yes, if you're looking for something, you're after it. And of course, I should have thought the roof beam is a rafter. All right, I think that's all the, oh no, all the downs except for our snack. Uh, gray with worry, that's serious. Well, with can be W and worry could be an anagram indicator. So I was wondering if it was going to be an anagram of W and gray, but we have a T there, so. Gray. Is it going to mean serious? Or is it going to mean gray? Gray as in colorless, or? No. One out of work. On Scottish Island. Okay, I think I'm going to have to find that list of Scottish Islands again and see if that helps me. Ah, the island is Tyree, and on can be re, on a certain subject, re that subject, and then our Tyree, and you get retiree who is out of work. All right, now our snack. Oh my goodness, what could that be? Hot, yeah, it's townsman. That's another word for a townsman. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll approach it from that side, look up synonyms of... Of course, it could be a person from a particular town. Uh, like a Dubliner or a, hmm. Yeah, let me uh, pause and look that up. Oh, of course, it is a burger with an H. And if you drop it, I don't know if I would call a burger a snack. Yeah, I, hmm. Don't know about that at all. All right, gray. Oh, maybe gray can be abbreviated to just G. With worry, that's serious. Ah, could it be 
great as in you know if you if something great is not always something good it could be just oh there's a great illness or there's a great something a great oh the great fire of london of course but that would mean r-e-a-t would mean worry i've never heard of that but what else could it be um worry No, let me uh, i think i may have to go to wordplays.com and see what five letter words i really should be able to solve this but nothing is coming to me well i'm not finding any other word a guest of course and greet and then some other bleat um I'm going to put in great, and uh, we're past the 30-minute mark, so I'm going to check this. It is right. All right, well, let's head over to 15 squared and uh, get an explanation for that. All right, today's blog is by Menehi, a fun solve. Yeah, I found, even though I found today's pretty straightforward, there were... Five, I think I put question marks where I'm just saying, hmm, is that, is that right? And then there's one I just didn't get at all, how, how it worked out great. But on the acrosses, royalty, yeah, so just I, I think the definition of royalty as such a wealthy family, hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure about that one. And then, oh yeah, APRO, I just wanted to know it is to buy on approval. It's to take home goods before fil fully committing to the purchase. All right. And then this great, oh, GR is the abbreviation for gray. I didn't know that. And yes, I think I've seen this before in the cryptic. If something is worrying you, it's eating at you. And it is serious as in significant. So I did parse that. I just didn't get the GR plus eat. All right, and then on the downs. Oh, Pan the first. Ah, the nature god above all is the first. Ah, okay, that makes more sense now. And then 18 struggling of yeah the the needed is kind of a lead it over um hmm, not sure about that one either and then grouchy i think the word play is just groucho is spelled almost like grouchy rather like yeah I, that's a little loose too but um let's see i thought royalty was barely cryptic though I got the great series, so Scraggs is like me. Um, let's see. Shaw, yes. Um, Jeff down under on familiarity with the football team in the Scottish Islands, yeah, but otherwise he got through it. Uh, Paddy Mellon. All right, let's see, KVA. All right, well, not much more to add to that. So, yeah, fairly straightforward one again for a Monday from Vulcan, so I appreciate that. Anyway, thank you as always for watching, and have a wonderful day.